Pigun 9 on your side sports. Sponsored by Casino Del Sol. New team, who's this? Micah Mountain playing its first ever game tonight. The Thunderbolts taking the field against Coolidge High School. Welcome everybody to Football Friday Night. I'm Jason Barr. Micah Mountain opened its doors last year. The team has a couple of seniors, not enough for a full varsity schedule, but tonight they did turn on the stadium lights for the first time against Coolidge. The Thunderbolts are coached by Pat Nugent. He's in his 32nd season of coaching locally. He was at Pima, three other high schools. This was a defensive battle early on. Micah Mountain's Octavio Vidrio Jr. with a tackle in the backfield. It was scoreless after the first quarter. Second quarter now, Thunderbolts on the move. Freshman QB Jaden Thorson to Xavier Johnson. Good for a first down. Later in the drive, Caspin Colbert. 6'2", 220 pounds. The ball is stripped away, but it's okay. Micah Mountain goes on for a 13-7 win. Congrats to the Thunderbolts on their first victory. Somebody saved that game ball. All right, let's stay in Vail. Empire hosting Choya. Ravens led it 17-0 at halftime. Empire gets the ball to start the third quarter. They give it to Jake Lambert. Look at this effort. Still going. Ruled down at the one yard line. Very next play. Lambert is going to finish off the drive. Empire shuts out Choya. Final score tonight for the Ravens was 38 to nothing. Push Ridge Christian Academy off to a 4-0 start, and tonight they get to play their first game on campus this season. A new track was being installed, and they were hosting the defending 3A state champion Snowflake. An early 6 p.m. start at the Lion's Den. They do that for homecoming. First quarter action, Snowflake showing why they're the defending state champions. Caden Cantrell to Noah Baum. Shakes off a tackle, and he is off to the races. Push Ridge down with by the score of seven to nothing. But they come right back. Our favorite combo, Ryan Fontaine to Bubba Mustang. Touchdown Lions, we are tied at seven. Snowflake answering though, the same combo. Cantrell to Baum, another TD. And Snowflake goes on to defeat Push Ridge Christian. The Lions suffer their first loss, 26 to 21. Over at Sal Point. The Lancers hosting Ironwood Ridge. Nighthawks kept it close early, but this is the Lancers, the Lancers Anthony Wilhite for the touchdown. More so than not, high school football stadiums have been absolutely packed for the first few weeks of the season. Again, it is Wilhite for Sal Point. The Lancers going to the ground game. Wilhite is going to find the end zone for Sal Point over at Ed Doherty Stadium. And as uh, Dalian Goodman finishing the drive, a Sal Point wins 34-9, and they will take on Scottsdale Saguaro next week as they do that thing with the lighting there. All right, Marana at Flowing Wells. The Tigers starting 3-0 under first-year coach Philip Stewart. Marana already up big, and defensive back Samuel Brown is going to keep it that way. The interception, and he is headed back and is going to make it a pick six, returning it all the way for the score. Marana goes up. 42 to 7 as the Tigers continue to roll in this game. They are proud of their team this year over in Marana. Brown back at it again. This time on offense, takes the pass from Elijah Joplin, across the middle and does the rest. Marana goes on to win big. Final score 56 to 7. Let's stay on the south side uh, for Buena at Flowing Wells. Blue Devils quarterback Deion Conde just keeps getting better. The pretty over the shoulder pass to Armando Guzman for the touchdown. Blue Devils go up six zip. More sunny side, more Conde. He rolls out after the play fake and finds Samario Garcia for another score. Extra point is good. It is 13 nothing. And this time South Point goes to the ground game. Nicholas McDaniel. 74 yards for the touchdown down the sideline, and he is in. Sunnyside over Buena, final score, 41 to 24. And other scores across the bottom of the screen in our ticker. And certainly in college football,